Ladies and gentlemen, today is Thursday, the 28th of January, and today Mojang released another new snapshot for Minecraft 1.9 called 16W04A. This is mainly a boat-focused update, but it also contains some other bug fixes and a boatload of new sounds. So let's start with those. Iron trapdoors and doors, as well as wooden doors and fence gates, have gotten new opening and closing sounds. There are new variations for chests opening and closing. Placing water lilies now has some pitch variation. Filling and emptying buckets with lava or water has changed. The sounds for equipping armor of various type have changed. Hitting or killing snowmen and squids have changed. The ambient sound for rain has changed. Sounds for breaking leash knots and paintings have changed. Sounds for breaking an item frame, removing items and so on have changed. Filling bottles has a new sound. And finally, the knockback sound has been changed. Now, let's move on to boats. First of all, the big changes. Forward movement has been changed back to holding W, back from the paddling action of A and D. That also means that you can now go backwards by holding S, albeit slower. And the crafting recipes have changed, they no longer require a shovel to craft. With those changes done, there's also been a large amount of bug fixes to boat behavior. Placing boats used to place the boat backwards, regardless if you placed it or if it was placed by a dispenser. And when you did place it, they often sunk into the water and looked like they were sinking. That has now been fixed, so the boat faces forwards when you place it. If you enter the boat from the front, you would end up in an awkward angle, that is no longer the case. And regardless of from where you entered the boat, your legs would stick out under it, and that has now also been changed. Once you were paddling around, you could not place blocks, you can now again. And boats would ignore lily pads, now they again break lily pads and cause them to drop as items. Then once you were ready to get out of the boat, you dropped in water. That has now been sorted out so you end up on top of the boat, but now there's a new bug that makes it very very hard to move instead. And well, maybe it wasn't entirely foolproof. As for mobs being passengers in boats, they have also made a bunch of fixes. Mobs in boats would get wet, that is, they would act like they were in water. So Endermen would get hurt, and skeletons and zombies would not burn. That has been fixed. Horses, if you place them in a boat, would have a hitbox larger than the boat, which meant that there was no way to break the boat without killing the horse. That is fixed in this snapshot, and it also seems like fully grown horses will refuse to enter a boat. On the flip side of that, small mobs would drown when they sat in a boat, and squids would enter a boat if you drove above them. If you put a shulker or an armor stand in a boat, they would spin violently, and putting an armor stand in a boat was not so simple because they refused to enter it. That is claimed to be fixed, but might not be, and in fact it seems incredibly hard to get most mobs to enter a boat at all in the snapshot. If you left the boat when you had a mob inside, the paddle animation would continue. And some exploits. If you placed a boat on a slime block and mounted, the boat and you would fly away hundreds of blocks. If you placed a boat in mid-air and pushed it along, it would not lose any speed. And the same goes if you drove along a one-wide block of water with pressure plates on the side. 
However, it's hard to tell if these are fixed or not because a new bug has appeared. Boats now work on land as well as they do in water. There's some additional fixes to error messages and crashes involving boats as well. Other bug fixes in this snapshot include chorus flowers that ended up at y equals 255 at the top of the world. Regardless if placed or if they grew there, it would turn into a chorus plant instead of a chorus flower. If you were sneaking or gliding so that your hitbox was smaller, you could still stand up, even if there wasn't enough space for that. And finally, if you threw an item down on a lily pad, it would bounce around a bunch. That is now fixed, so items can properly lay still on the lily pads. Those are all the changes and fixes we know about at this point for Minecraft Snapshot 16W04A. If you want to know more about the changes that came before this one, then head over to my Minecraft News playlist. There is a link on screen right now or in the video description. That playlist has update videos for every single snapshot released this far for Minecraft 1.9, the combat update. If you want to try this snapshot, then remember that they are experimental versions and can break your world or crash. So if you try to do so on a backup of your world or on a test world. To try it, head into your Minecraft launcher, create a new profile and select enable experimental development versions snapshots then save and start the game using that profile and you will be playing the latest snapshot version, which is currently this one, 16W04A. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please help me out and hit the like button. If you want to stay up to date with all the new snapshot news, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. My name is Sliced Lime, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.